I've scoured the internet and I've made a comprehensive database of helmets that are designed for glasses riders. So a few weeks ago, I made a video giving you guys some tips and hacks for riding with your glasses and making the chore that it is riding with your glasses on your motorcycle a little bit less painful. In that video, I briefly touched on the fact that if you wanted to make your ride with your glasses more comfortable, one of the things that you could do was buy a motorcycle helmet that is specifically designed to accommodate your glasses. I left a few good options for you in the description of that video, but that was kind of it. But I decided that as a fellow blind rider who's been riding with glasses for six years, I'm kind of doing you guys and myself a disservice. I really should have gone into more detail on these helmets because it's easier if you just start off with the proper gear for whatever your situation is right away. I actually say this as a rider who has a helmet that was definitely not designed for glasses. I actually didn't know when I got the AGV Corsa R that there was even options that were specifically made for people with eyeglasses. But now thankfully I know better. I've scoured the internet and I've made a comprehensive database of helmets that are designed for glasses riders. I had no idea this many options were available. Now as a proper scientist, I will tell you how I got this data. Basically, if you do a Google search for motorcycle helmets for eyeglasses riders, you'll get a bunch of articles that come up on a bunch of different websites, but a lot of those articles are outdated and they have helmets that when you click on them, like it's not available anymore, it's not being sold. <laughs> or some of them just like mention their own brand of helmets that I've never heard of before and would definitely not trust my skull to be put into some random helmet. Like nothing brand name anyone has ever heard of. And of course, as a YouTuber, I also used YouTube as a resource that I watched videos that were on the topic and I pulled helmets from there that were available as well. So helmets that weren't available, nobody knows the brand name of, or they just had really bad reviews, I excluded those. You can find quality motorcycle helmets, even from well-known brands at a good price. And I would encourage you if you're gonna splurge on any piece of motorcycle gear, maybe make it your helmet. Thank you, Duchess. Good boy. He clearly agrees. When it comes to motorcycle helmets, uh, treat yourself or treat your skull. Now, before I tell you how you actually use this database, let me tell you what actually makes a helmet glasses friendly. So from what I've seen, there's four main things that manufacturers tend to do to make a glasses friendly helmet. One, they'll make padding that's cut away at the temples where your glasses would slide in. Or two, they'll have specific channels cut into the foam layer. They might also have removable padding near the temples. And they also cut the seams of the fabric in strategic points so that there's no pressure points along the sides. Or they may do some combination of those four things. Okay, so now how do you use this database? It's pretty straightforward. There's a link to Google Sheets in the description and also pinned in the comments. You can go in there and browse the database as is. I included information like the type of helmet that it is, so full face, modular, street fighter, dirt, stuff like that. I also included the style of riding that's best suited for that particular helmet type, so like street, track versus adventure touring. I included the price point, obviously you can sort by price. You can also sort by the brand. And for some of them, I included additional notes like if it's Snell rated or not. And also, of course, there's a link to the helmet on Revzilla where you can go and you can watch reviews, which heads up, it's an affiliate link. You know how those work. It supports me and also the channel. So if you go through those links, I really appreciate it. If you don't, that's fine. You can Google the products on your own, but I do encourage you at least to go check out the reviews that are on Revzilla's website and also the customer reviews because those are very helpful when you're picking out gear online. In the customer reviews section of Revzilla, I've always found this super useful because people can go in and they can say like, okay, how quiet do I think this helmet is? How is the fit? How much does it weigh? And things like that. And you can get like a feel for what the helmet might be like. So if you're interested in buying a helmet that's glasses friendly, but is also really quiet, that section of Revzilla is a really good place to go to to get that information. And of course, there's also customer submitted photos. And actually while you're there, there's a little section where you can search for a keyword, uh, search for glasses, because anybody that's bought that specific helmet for glasses, which if it's a glasses specific helmet, chances are a lot of people are gonna be buying it for that reason. Uh, they'll be able to tell you how they feel with the glasses on there. So do the glasses keyword research. So that's the information that's in the database. I suggest you like think about what your price point is and if you have any extra money to spare on gear for yourself, put it towards your helmet, I would recommend that. And then you can filter for things like what brand you like or also what kind of riding style you want. Or do you want a modular or do you want a full face? I tried to include as much useful information in there without making it overwhelming because I got frustrated looking at the motorcycle helmets that were listed on these websites that were like not even available anymore and stuff like that. I'm going to make an effort to keep this database relatively updated and add new styles as they come out and try and remove old styles of helmets as they don't get made anymore.
So if eons later you come across this database and you want to use it and there's something that's not available anymore, just shoot me an email. Emails in the about me section or on Instagram, send me a DM. Tell me that that's not available and then I will try to make it better for everybody else. Us blind folk gotta help each other out. If you're interested in seeing the video on hacks for writing with your glasses, you can check that out here. Otherwise, I will see my spicy squad in the next one. Yes, that's your name now, spicy squad.